So check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Oh shoot. We have the whole fleet here. Trailer, truck, truck, and truck. This was my first F-250 diesel before I got my Raptor. This was what I was daily driving in when you guys saw videos in. Going to the dump and that thing, getting plywood and getting all that cool stuff. Here she is. That's her. She's loaded. Or not loaded, but FX4, you know, comes with the rims, tires, KG Custom package. It's dope in there. Cool truck, nice truck, very comfortable. Not as stiff as that one for sure. But anyways, let's head to my truck. And normally I start this video with a cold start. So without further ado, let's just get a little bit closer. Oh, I went to the desert too, so you can kind of tell. See all the mud and shit down there. I'll throw a little video on here of what the truck kind of looked like before. Here's a cold start. <laughs> Welcome to the channel once again, me horse for me guys. Let's get a cold start real quick. She purrs like a kitty cat. So those who don't know, here's some updates on the good old Raptor where I had Drew the Roofer. When I had the labels right here, Drew the Roofer right here. And then I had one on the back one. So now we got a1 budget roofing this side passenger side and then we also have it on the back of the truck back there but without further ado let's get this video started and we're off welcome back to the channel everybody my name is Andrew Apudaka, also known as Drew, also known as Drew the Roofer. For those of you barely tuning in, um, I've had this channel for a few years now. It's a little cold in here. I've had this channel for a few years now. Um, all we post is roofing content and truck and fishing just recently. Um, last year, got cancer, beat it in July. Uh, started the channel where I was just posting fishing stuff and kind of truck stuff. That's all I really could post. So now we're back with the roofing content as of last year as well. I don't do any of the roofing anymore as the labor and as far as that goes. Um, I will put shingles and stuff like that when need be if they need me to. But as of right now, I don't need to. So with that being said, um, it's 2024. Hope you all had a good Thanksgiving. Christmas, New Year's, you know, all the baby with their New Year's resolutions. Hope everything goes well for you guys and you guys get after it, lock in, and all that cool stuff. As for me, um, I'm hoping I can post more roofing content, fishing, and truck content to this channel. Uh, I'm just going to go full balls to the walls with this channel, just pump out content, but quality content for you guys, what you guys want to see, um, and kind of go that way. This channel is, was built so I can kind of show you my day-to-day -day life, but since that has changed, I can't really show that. Um, I'm not doing what I used to do back in the days, what all the labor and all like kind of the informational videos I was posting. So that's kind of where that's at for now. So today we have an appointment, but we're going to go get my drink I get in Carlsbad. Um, it's called choice juicery choice juicery it's like a superfood place it's pretty fire my cousin introduced me to it last year um trying to get on like the healthier kick type of thing so you know it's still i get it i don't drink starbucks and all that stuff anymore um trying to be healthy trying to go that way and kind of just figure out where where life's going to take me at this point but yeah so let's get after it once i get this drink i'll hop back on here Kind of talk to you guys what's the next step for for this channel for myself and what to expect and what you guys want you know because this channel wouldn't be here without you guys um, we're almost to a thousand subscribers um i think 806 so you know if you like this content and stuff like that my previous content 
drop a like, subscribe, comment. Um, you, oh shit, if you guys want to see some other content, you know, drop it in the comments. Um, I know somebody commented that they want to see some tear off content um, and installing metal and stuff like that. So as soon as I am capable and able to go to the job and talk to the guys and you know, as they're doing metal, I will go ahead and go over to the job and explain it to you guys and all that cool stuff. Until then, let's head to the playa. We gotta get on the freeway. And let's say, oh, update on the truck. I'll do it in a little bit. But yeah, so let's go ahead, playa, get the drink and start the day off. All right, here's, shit, here's a drink right here. Damn, I can't see it. Fire, I get the salted caramel with like this drizzle stuff. Crazy fuego, mijos and mijas. You guys definitely have to get it right by. I think this is um, Crackheads, this bar. And it's like, right there's side things, it's Carlsbad Village Drive? No. Somewhere around there, Carlsbad Village, right here. Right where the new Better Buzz is in Carlsbad. It's really right there. Try it. All right, guys, check it out. So what we got going on here, we came here I want to say a few months ago, doing this whole roof right here. Um, we already torn off this section, kind of split it down the middle. They're going to start this off first, and then they're going to work their way this way because the heating and AC guys are going to remove these. And these are, all these skylights have to get taken out and replaced with new frames on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and maybe nine. That one's good right there. <clears throat> but yeah, so he's changing the wood by the drain. Uh, they're putting base there. They already put base. He's putting smooth there. They'll put base here. This gets removed, so then we'll just close all that up right there. Be chilling and good to go. There it is, baby. All right, check it out, guys. We're here in Encinitas. Homeowner just bought this house. God, I'm out of breath coming that ladder. Up on the second story. We're just checking everything out. You could do it this way with this dormer, but typically you want this tile to be over this and just to be hang over that way. And then I don't have a breath for coming the damn letter. The issue here. Yeah, look, it's ripped right there. So no bueno, this needs to be redone for sure. And they cut it right there too. And you can tell they they redid it because look at the cement around it on these tiles. So it must have been redone. They just repainted it. So that, oh yeah. Look at these pipes. No cucking. Or it came off or they redid it in. He's old fashioned and put it back. Yeah, because look. All of them are redone. So no bueno, then crack tile here. Let's check the other side. Yeah, a lot of these were redone because you could tell by the cement that was in the back. What else? Crack tiles right here. Definitely gonna leak. That's definitely gonna leak. These are all gonna leak right here. The valley has enough flow, two inches on each side, but it's just covered. And then something's going on there because it, it, from my view, warps down a little bit. Crack tile. This valley's open. I gotta push that one back up. Crack ridge. Crack ridge. Here. Six, he's crack, crack, crack. Kind of got a oh crack tile right behind this pipe. Ooh, definitely crack tile. This one's cracked. This one for sure. Let's check everything else. So this is two houses, so it splits like right here. I would say this middle is where it splits. This is neighbor's house, and then this is his house. So for sure, dormer needs to be redone. 
Let me take it all off, put an O'Hagan just to be safe. The mastic cocking on the pipes. All of them. Change these pipes. Change the broken tiles down there. The one over there. And all of that. Oh, look at that. Exposed nail. And this tile right here, this Malibu or Villa, however you want to call it, they crack a lot in the corners in Los Esquinas. It's, kind of, oh it's kind of typical for this tile. As you can tell, cracked, cracked, cracked. See, we need, these all need to be fixed for sure. And then there's some down there. Cement starting to break up. These holes right here, water can get in. And all that cool stuff. Look, they use this cement towel right there. And then they got a crack right here where this white's at. Right there. So. And I understand you could put a little mini tile in there, but I always say just put a, a fuller piece of it and it comes out to like here. I mean, what's the difference between this? You just use a full time, it'll just cut the top. Because this, it, instead of being like this flat, it ends up being like, like that. So like it's kind of flat so the water can run backwards inside and then water goes under. And that's a single story down there. We already checked that out. We saw that from the ground. Oh, another broken tile right there. Where the flashing's at. That tile's coming off right there. That rake piece. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead down there and take some pictures and talk to the customer and I'll catch you guys back in the truck. All right guys, so you kind of saw what we were doing there, we're, what the roof we we're doing in San Diego, that torch three ply, base smooth granulated and what's kind of going on there. Um, and then also what we did for that second appointment of looking up on that guy's roof. Um, it is, he just bought it, um, it's a referral. So, you know, we do what we can for our previous customers, new referrals from previous customers. You know, that's how we stay alive, stay in business with a lot of referrals and stuff like that. Uh, we're a family owned company, so we stay local and help everybody out as much as we can to the best of our ability. But he had some tiles broken, some dormers kind of not done right. And pipes were just, the seams were breaking on the flashing. And so, you know, you gotta put mastic and caulking on those and then fix the dormer. I don't really like using dormers at all anymore. I'd rather use the Hagens. I know people still put dormers, but we don't do that. But yeah, and then right now I'm going to the gym. I got an appointment at four o'clock. So I got another one in Oceanside. So I'm gonna go ahead and bust that one out after I get done with the gym here. And then that's pretty much about it. If I can get another quick clip of the one at four, then I shall do that. Um, if I'm able to put my ladder up, and then tomorrow we're getting some rain in the morning. So hopefully you guys stay safe out there. Uh, stay dry, drive safe. I know everybody doesn't drive safe, especially in California, where you freak out when it gets a little wet. I guess it's just how it is. Um, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for, you know, thanks for supporting me along the way. This is my very first video after a while. So hopefully, you know, I can improve this. You guys drop comments what you wanna see. Um, what what can I improve or what kind of help you guys? Um, if you want more informational videos, maybe about roofing or anything like that, then, you know, drop a comment, never hurts to ask. And if I can do it, I will. You know, I know a lot of people, so hopefully I can, you know, get that opinion and get some advice for you guys along that lines, along those lines. All right, guys, well, stay tuned if there's a next clip. If not, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.